What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and today's video is going to be a little different than my normal content. And the reason for that is, da 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 story time. A few videos ago, I posted a new Halloween hunting episode, and it was a special edition episode, meaning this one was all about flea markets, something that we've never really done in Halloween hunting. And one of the only scores that I got at the flea market was this Fisher Price Castle, as you you'll see up there at the top of the screen. And I mentioned that it didn't come with any of the figures and it was missing some stickers and whatnot. Well, an old friend of mine hit me up this morning and said, yo, I think I have those figures like out in my garage in a bag somewhere. If you want them, I'll go look for them. And I was like, hell yeah. So he ended up bringing me two bagfuls of these figurines. And while we were here catching up, which it was really nice to do, just really good to catch up with that guy. He mentioned that he still had one of the original Joey masks from my collection that I actually sold to him a long, long time ago. I'm talking like 10 years ago. And I was like, man, I wonder what one it was. And he wasn't able to describe it real well, but when he got home, he sent me photos of it. When he sent me those photos, man, the nostalgia gates flooded. I could not believe what I was seeing. A very, very special piece to me, something that Mike Covert made for me a long, long time ago. It was in my collection briefly, and I ended up selling it to my buddy Logan. And he was like, yo, dude, if you want it, it's your history. Come get it. So we are on our way to go pick up that mask. I cannot wait to be reunited with this piece. And I have a feeling once we have it in hand, I'm going to dive into some sort of rant about maybe stuff not being the most accurate, but still having sentimental value to you and how you probably shouldn't just get rid of everything because you might regret it one day. So without further ado, let's head down to Logan's house and pick this mask up. Fucking nuts. Dusty, dirty, but it's been a shelf queen. I mean, I can't believe it just still exists. It's got that little crack under the chin that was there when I think I got it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, dusty and dirty. It's just back when we used Sharpies and shit, yeah. man. God damn. That's yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah, no, I've just had it hanging up and like, I, you, I thought about it like a week or so ago. I was like, you know what? I should see if AJ wants it. Yeah. And like, oh, dude. Dude, you asked about it today. Yeah, it's yours, man. Yeah, I'm all about it. I messaged uh, Covert before I came down here. I was like, you're not gonna believe what, I did, what I'm about to go pick up. <laughs> I haven't told him yet, so I want to just surprise him, just like send him a picture of it or something. Yeah. That's fucking rad. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. Not a problem. I really hope you guys come to the open house. We will. Good deal. All right, the mask is in hand, and I swear the feeling of when he handed that to me was just like, so crazy like I knew that that's what it was going to be but just experiencing it and just getting excited over something that isn't accurate something that I've owned before it's uh it's weird but uh it's it's really really good so we're gonna head back to the building now and I will show off exactly what I just picked up and explain to you guys a little bit about why it's so special so off to the building all right guys, we are back at the building now and I'm about to show you the mask that I just grabbed from Logan. All right, so what we have here is the Chin Dots or the Kerrang Cover Joey. And man, what a fucking trip. I know that you guys are probably watching this and thinking, what's the big deal? But I promise until you have gotten rid of something and regretted it, you wouldn't know the feeling of getting it back. And that brings me to a really, really good point that I wanted to talk to you guys about and that is about selling things that you don't necessarily Necessarily want to sell. I know that times get tough and sometimes you just have to make the decision to let stuff go, but if that isn't the case, I would highly, highly recommend being very, very careful with what you let go because I've been there and done it and take it from me, someone who has literally thousands of masks, thousands of items of the things that I am passionate about. There are still items that I've gotten rid of over the years for whatever reason, whether it was a legitimate reason, whether it was just to trade up and get something else, whatever the reason may be, I have gotten rid of things that I will never, ever, ever get back and this was one of those items. If I could get back all of the masks that I traded that I miss and that I think about 
every single day, I don't know what I would do. Tons of pieces that aren't even anything special or accurate, just pieces that I want because they're a part of my collecting history, and I will never, ever have those back. So to get this back really is a special thing, and I can't thank Logan enough for that. I actually managed to track down the video from 10 plus years ago of me wearing this. I wasn't really doing unboxings then, I was just kind of making videos to show my friends what items I had. So the videos are pretty lame, they were filmed on a potato, but it just is what it is. It's cool that I had that documented, so I'm able to look back at it as I'm holding this piece in my hand here. And just for the record, this was done by Mike Covert, one of my best friends in the hobby since I entered the hobby. Mike has been an absolutely amazing guy. I'm sure that a lot of you guys watching this video either know Mike or know of Mike. He's always been closely associated with the House of Masks. He is now one half of Pale Face & Co, along with Bishop and his wife Jasmine. So yeah, this is super, super rad to have back. And honestly, it's not even a bad conversion. It's done with Sharpies, which isn't really accurate, but this was just when we were doing stuff with Sharpies. But in all actuality, I wouldn't be ashamed to be displaying this with the rest of my collection, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm gonna clean this guy up. He is a little dusty. Logan said this thing has been sitting on a shelf since I gave it to him. So yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this video. As always, I'm gonna leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of this mask, and that will be that. So until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and to selling things if you can help it. And we will see you guys later.